Hello and welcome to the Yule Loggers. It is Josh here from the Yule Loggers, of course, and today we are on Oki's Indie Adventures. And as you can see, we are playing Thomas Was Alone. Now, it says resume there, but I haven't started a game on this computer. Uh, I checked it uh, on a laptop when I had the game at first. But I didn't want to play it for too much because I wanted it just to be a uh, first-hand experience for most of the game. Um, and even if I... it was long ago since I last played this. So I should have forgotten lots of it already. So let's start new game straight away. <laughs> so the program was a failure. People forgot this. It was a massive flop. The coders started adding name strings to the AIs as a joke. Thomas, 80, 23, 6, 12 wasn't special. It was just an AI in the right place. Rah, rah, rah. Movement keys. Was alone. Okay. Wow. A weird first thought to have. Ah, ah look at this. <laughs> this is cool. I like this. <coughs> Bind, bind. Thomas decided to start listing his observations for posterity. One, Says the whole alone thing. Two, portals. They led somewhere. He'd yet to work out. Oh, sorry, cut him off. <laughs> okay, interesting. <coughs> Thomas couldn't fall past this block. Think, damn it, think. What if there was some kind of inverted fall? Some way to... What's the word? Jump. Boing. It oh. worked. Thomas had solved the great inverted fall mystery. Yeah, you go, Thomas. Oh, look at the shadows. That's cool. I like that. So there's a ball right there. Ball of light right here. But it's invisible. noted there was no oh, real danger easy. in this all seemed oh. a little dangerous the world was not to be trusted it was unstable and it seemed to Thomas that it could let him god I'm skipping that guy I'm sorry it's the man whoever you are Thomas wondered whether the portals were actually taking him anywhere he felt like he was making progress but there wasn't really any way to know. He seemed to be moving predominantly up and to the right, which might or might not be important. Okay. So this is a totally mouse-free game, which is good. Um, just playing with the keyboard so I can just chill over here. I'm just playing. <laughs> it might have been paranoia again. But Thomas could have sworn the world was becoming more complicated. It always seemed to be one step ahead of his skills. It had been designed just for him. He wondered why. Was the world testing him? No. Too obvious. Was the world testing him? I guess, I guess this is like acid. Something about the boiling, toxic, glowing water yeah. intimidated Thomas. He didn't like it. He certainly didn't want to swim in it. He made another mental note. Four, water. Not good to be avoided. Good. Good for Thomas. Avoid water at all costs. Oh, God. The loneliness was getting to Thomas. No amount of observation or obsessive note-taking could combat that. Ah. So already this is a cool game. It's just parkour-based, sort of. Which is... Oh, God damn it. Uh, 
Oh my god. Oh Jesus. <laughs> right to the bottom again. Um oh god. Slow be slow. Don't know why, but it makes me I do better if I've got my hand on the mouse. It makes me I guess it just makes me There we go, I've got my hand on the mouse now. Oh, there we go. Oh, God, that was close. There we go, at last. See how this has got like a... Thomas had a new theory. The world was training him. He could feel himself getting smarter. There was the mental list to consider. Over the minutes and seconds since his spontaneous generation, he'd become a pretty skilled jumper. He was evolving. He just wished he had someone to share it with. I wish he had someone to share it with. There we go. So yeah, it's got like a weird feel about it. It's like a relaxing relaxing feel about the game which I I really like. Uh, lots of bird reports for idiot what happened, overlapping scripts, rah rah rah. So, uh, AI. What? What? Chris took an immediate and deep dislike to the skinny red rectangle. Who the hell did this Thomas think he was? What? He's very f rather fat. Can't jump very high. Like no. Oh, I see. So Thomas is no longer alone. So what was Thomas was Chris alone is no more. Fine. He wasn't the highest jumper, but he'd held his own. He'd even been graceful at times. <laughs> oh, can't do that. Actually, not technically graceful. Probably, probably the wrong word, but you know, fine. There was that skinny little runt leaping about like he owned the place. Oh, face, face planted that wall. So we come over here. Switch to you. Jump you over, boing boing. <laughs> so I hope you're all doing well today. Uh, I've had a real good day. I've been out enjoying the outside. So, uh, just walking around with Jamie and Jay and stuff. Uh, woods and tree fields and whatever we can walk across All right. okay so. this was more like it a glowy white thing only chris could get to it which of course made it all the more enticing what would it do what new opportunity might this switch open up to him Is this right? Great, great. Yep. Another chance for Thomas to jump slightly higher than Chris. How fortunate. Seriously, this made the whole switch pressing thing entirely worthwhile. There we go. Good job. Good job. Was this good? Because on the surface, it did not seem good. Chris was pretty scared. Little Red seemed fine, happy to be on his merry little adventure. I think Chris Red shake the feeling that things had taken a significant turn for the worse since Thomas had joined him. Sure, 
he'd been able to piggyback his way to ever so slightly higher platforms, but where had that got him? Well, to ever so slightly higher platforms, which was sort of his point. <laughs> Good job. I like this. <coughs> so... Yeah, I hope you're all doing well today. I mm. stared at Thomas with pure hatred. He seemed so very happy at their situation. Friends together, a brave fellowship of quadrilaterals on a quest for greatness. Seriously, this guy. Oh, that would be fine. Uh, but it was all the obvious me all the time. observation that Thomas was doing which grated. Every time they saw something vaguely new, Chris would hear a satisfied little hmm from the vaulting idiot. He hoped the next portal would split them up. If only for a few levels. This is the right way. Yes. God, I love, I love this one, Thomas. Ah, oh. damn. Ah. Oh. What? Come on. Good job, Thomas. There we go. So, are you going to interrupt Ola? A big one. Oh, yeah, there we go. Knew. He knew that this was his chance. A moment to shine. This was game day. So get him on right on the corner like that. Jump over, get Chris on top of him. Uh, move over to Thomas, move him over. Move Chris over a bit. Move our good old friend here. Ah, oh, look at that beautiful, brilliant. This would not do. John needed room to show off his exceptional skills. As it was, he was trapped on the wrong side of these little dot things. Oh well. They come from anyway. <coughs> there we go. So we get them in there. Get what is fat face? How rude! Actually, that's really rude of me. I want to say that again. Call him Chris. Chris, call him Chris from now on. Get Chris over there. Get John. Is that name? John. There we go. Perfect. John inhaled the air of the open space, and it smelled of awesome. Everything I smells of awesome. To put his training to use time to show those little dots how it was done. John decided to press the switch to let the little dots catch up with him. John cared for his new allies. Good. You could tell from the sympathetic expression he'd practiced in the mirror all these years. Oh. Okay then. You're very welcome to just do whatever you did in front of the mirror. John, I don't care, you've helped me. 
you've helped me, good friend. Come on, Thomas. Thomas the... Thomas the tank engine. Thomas the tank engine. Whoever you are. No, John shouldn't just get over there. You can just, like, hurry up, John. Like that. There we go. And get Chris across. <laughs> We're gonna conveniently place gap for... Oh, actually. I need John. Get over here, John. There we go. Good job. God, this is such a good game. So relaxing. I think what I'll do is I'll end it once we finish two. And mainly because there's not much to this game and I don't want it to get too boring, if you know what I mean. Jump. Oh, we need Chris. Chris, we need you. John was happy to keep helping. He felt it was important to his image that he was seen to help the little guys. Oh. There we go. There we go, and get Chris over here like this. Jump, jump, jump. Um, Thomas. Thomas over here. Well, we didn't want to do that. Uh, if we do this, we can get like that. There we go. Oh. Now we need Thomas. Come on, Thomas. And again. And now we'll need John. And then Thomas. Crisscross a bit. Crisscross over a bit. Jump Chris on top of Thomas. Of Thomas. Of Chris. Move Thomas. Move Chris. Move Thomas. No. Move John a bit. Move Thomas a bit. No. Move. Chris a bit, in fact. Move. What's his face over a bit? Move John. Move Thomas. Move John. What's his face? Move Thomas up. Put him up here like this. Then like this. Then like this. Then like this. Move John. Get that S, in fact. Yes, we got this. Oh! He didn't mind them so much either. The red one, Thomas, had a charming way of applauding every time John jumped. Well, 
that's cool. Oh my god, this I love this. It's just so calming. I mean the music, listen to the music. Orange one was less immediately likable, but his unremitting cynicism and tutting amused John. That orange one sounds like Jamie, but Jamie's not fun. There we go. Up, 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 and away, boing. There we go, at last. Thank you for watching. Um, yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this episode. And hopefully I will see you on the next episode. So, if you wouldn't mind, um, please give us a rating on this video. So that would be anything from... Uh, giving it a like, subscribing from this video, sharing it with your friends, tweeting about it, this, that, the other, anything that will help us as the Yule Loggers, as Okies in the Adventures, as me, as anyone. Just thank you, and I hope to see you next time. Bye for now. <laughs>